What's up, y'all? My name is Duena, aka Glamazon1026, and welcome to the Glam Room. Today, we're gonna be doing my Vlogmas episode two, which is this really cute, very holiday friendly look. This look is a recreation of the group Van Jess's look for their video, Slow Down. It's not exactly like it, but it's my interpretation of that look. I just, I saw it on them, I thought it was super pretty, and I said, you know what, this is super easy for us to do for the holiday, so why don't we just do it on the channel for Vlogmas? Anyway, if you wanna see how this look gets put together, stay tuned. First, before I do anything with my eyes, I'm going to put on my Worthy Wee Cosmetics lip balm because my lips are super dry and this has been my go-to since I got it. What I love about this is that it's vegan and cruelty free and everything that they package their products in and pack their products in is biodegradable. So you are not contributing to any waste on this earth when you shop with Worthy Weave Cosmetics. I'm gonna put the link for Worthy Cosmetics down in the description box so that if you guys want to go purchase, you guys can just go straight there by clicking the link. So first we're gonna start on our eyes. Today I'm gonna be using the Pat McGrath Mothership 2 Sublime Palette. The Van Jess look is like a green cut crease that is just so beautiful. And the Pat McGrath has this green shade right here that's kind of like also a blue shade. It's just amazing. So I just want to use that today to kind of infuse some of our own personality into this look. All right, so if you guys know me, you know that me and Pat McGrath's mats don't really, I don't want to say they don't get along. We don't get along. We sometimes, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes we, uh, we need to be apart. So for transition colors, I'm going to be picking up the NYX Ultimate Utopia palette. I've been using this palette a lot lately, especially for my one, two, three eyeshadow series because it has a lot of great basic neutral colors and then it has a little bit more like dramatic colors. So you can get a lot of good looks out of this palette. Um, and I'm going to pick up first, I'm gonna pick up this brown right here because I just want to kind of warm up the eye area without adding too much pigment. I'm picking up this Makeup Geek uh, Bent Liner Brush. And I'm gonna go in with the Emerald Blitz from Pat McGrath. Just pick it up on that. And then we're just going to trace out the um, cut crease on our lid. Now, if you are new to cut creases, the easiest thing to do is go above the natural fold in your lid, right? And um, cut into the socket. Like we're going to extend the lower lash line up to right here. Now I'm picking up a flat shader and I'm just gonna go and fill in the lid with this green. The great thing about Pat McGrath shimmers is that they just, they are so buttery and delicious. Oh, so wonderful. All right, we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Now I'm going to take the same liner with the Extreme Black, right here. And I'm going to deepen up the outer corner over here. Just get it a little bit darker. And you wanna keep it as close to the lash line as possible. So we're basically just smoking this out. And 
And then once you get to the top up here, like where the black and the green meet, you can go back over that with a little bit more green so it kind of like fades into, so they fade into each other. If you mess up under here, always remember you can go over that with concealer to clean it right up. So as you can see in the original picture, their makeup is super glowy. So we're going to try to achieve that same look and effect today. You're gonna take your foundation today. I'm going to be using the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation in the shade Medium Deep 22. I'm going to mix it with a liquid illuminator. If you have like a luminizing primer, that would be good as well. So I'm gonna take about two pumps of foundation. One, two, maybe three, three. Three pumps of foundation and we're going to use one pump of the liquid illuminator. I use my foundation brush to just kind of mix that together. You guys already know that I love this foundation brush. This is the Beauty by Fay um, foundation brush and the, it's the perfect brush for this because you can get right up next to that wing and look at that. You're not messing with your wing but you're getting your foundation all over your face. I love that. If you're not as adept at putting on foundation after eyeshadow like I am, you can totally do your foundation first and then do the eyeshadow afterwards. All right, so now I'm going to go in with my Pat McGrath um, concealer and just, you know, do my cream highlight. Okay, so now I'm going to set everything with the Laura Mercier Translucent Honey Setting Powder. You really only need a little bit of this powder. It's very potent. Just gonna take this big brush and blend in anything else any loose powder that might still be on my face. Just use that to set the rest. So now I'm picking up the Midas Cosmetics Dust Till Dawn Palette, um, the Dusk Face Palette, and I'm gonna go in with this bronzer right here, just to give my face a little bit more bronze. Then I'm gonna use the same palette to deepen up my contour. Now I'm picking up the Colored Rain and Power Call the Shots Blush and Highlighter Duo, which is a really pretty orange blush. I'm gonna mix the blush and the highlighter together a little bit and then just tap it into my skin. I'm picking up the Nabla Cosmetics Skin Glazing um, Highlighter in the shade Amnesia. This has quickly become one of my favorite highlighters because it just looks like your skin is wet. It's just so subtle, but not, you know? So we're gonna pick back up the Pat McGrath Mothership 2 palette. I'm going to go in with the green on the flat shader and just press that into your lower lash line. And you wanna make sure that the outer um, edge on your lower lash line and the outer edge on the top lash line connect. Now you can use the brush that we used for the brown shade and blend that green pigment out. So before we finish this makeup look off, you want to put on some mascara. If you don't wear lashes, you want to make sure you're using mascara to make your lashes pop. Um, when you put on eyeshadow, um, there is powder fallout onto your lashes and they can make your lashes blend into the eyeshadow look and you really, really, really want your lashes to pop. So you wanna just put on some mascara. If you're not gonna wear lashes, make sure you do more than one coat of mascara and make sure they dry in between. I'm gonna put on the chestnut lip pencil. And 
And then I'm going to be mixing the May Beauty's Girly and Coco Lip Glosses. All right, last thing we have to do is spray our face down and we're using the Milk Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. All right guys, this is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was easy and broken down enough so that even if you aren't the best at eyeshadow, you can still replicate this look. It's so easy, you only use two shadow, three shadow colors. Um, but it just looks so good and it's so like holiday, but not like screaming red and green, you know, even though we do have green, but you know, like it's still really, really cute for a holiday party, a holiday uh, Zoom gathering, you know. A holiday let me sit in my house and be cute <laughs> so guys if you like this video please be sure to like comment and subscribe make sure that you click the notification bell so that you can be a part of the glam fam and know exactly when I upload also do not forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at glamazon1026 and I will see you guys in my next video bye